In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the Order Printer Pro Invoice Shopify app. Now, if you want to go ahead and install the app, go to the link in the description and you go ahead and install it from there. So once you click that link, it should bring you to a page that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and click install and this should open up your Shopify store. From here, we want to go ahead and click on this button here, which says install and it should now be installed on your store and ready to go. Now to start with, there's going to be a few onboarding questions. You can click next. You can go ahead and sort this out. This basically tells you how to quickly uh, access this. Again, it's going to tell you how to set it all up. It's going to tell you about customizable templates and now it's going to get you to start your free trial. So click that button there and you have to go ahead and select your plan. And then you want to go ahead and click the approve button here, which will approve it to charge you after the uh, free trial period, which is 14 days. So now that we're here, the first thing we're probably going to want to go ahead and do is go to the left hand side and go over to where it says manage templates. Now, these are the different templates that we've got. We can also create some, but I'm going to show you how to edit them first of all. So the first thing you can see here is you've got the name and this is going to be the name of the template. And then you've got what it's pre-selected for. So for invoices slash receipts, it's going to be pre-selected for orders and POS orders, but not draft orders. So for this, we can go ahead and click edit template here. And you can see it's going to be basically a big bunch of code here. And if you preview it here, this is going to show you what it actually looks like. Now to most people, this looks pretty confusing and hard to actually, you know, deal with, but I have a solution for it. If you go down in the description, there's going to be a link to this app here. And this app is going to allow you to very easily create the templates. So go ahead and install that down below. Press install. Then install this onto your store as well. And this is basically going to help you create the templates. It's completely free. Just make sure you go down below and install it. Now that we've got it installed, we can click browse templates and we can look at the templates they have right here. So we can just scroll through and find ones that we like. They've got things like invoices, packing slips, returns forms, all of that kind of stuff. Now for what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and use one of the invoice templates. And I quite like the look of this one here, so I'm going to just click on it. And then I can go ahead and actually purchase this template. It's going to be a one-time purchase of $29. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I can just click start with Paris. It's going to get me to purchase it. And then I can use this template here. So what you can do from here is you can actually fully customize it. So we can go to things like brand and styling. We can add a logo. We can change the logo size. We can change our font on here. We can change the heading size. We can change the fonts of the text. You see, I've just added a logo there. We can change this, the uh, yeah the text size. We can change all the colors. Maybe if we want something like this. Um, we can change basically everything about it here. Next up, we can go back and we can change the options and formats. So the address format, we can select how we want it formatted. Um, we can select the date format. You can see they've got different ones here. Uh, you can select which details you want to show, which ones you don't want to show. Uh, the the items, you can add the SKUs. You can have product photos if you want to. There's just loads of settings you can turn on or off here. We can go back again and we can go over to text and language. So if we want to uh, change some of the text in, inside of it, we can go ahead and do that with changing the language. And then once we're happy, we can go ahead and actually do a test order or a test print. So we can go ahead and print it here and we can just go ahead and see how it looks. Now, all of your stuff should be dynamically brought into here. So like your store name, the address, all that kind of stuff. You can see this here is a very professional looking invoice sheet compared to normal Shopify. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and click purchase and it's going to basically send you the code for this, which you can go ahead and implement it back into the main app. So we would simply go ahead and paste it in here, or we can go ahead here and click import. And we can go ahead and import the template that we have just gone ahead and purchased. So it's really, really simple as that. 
Next up, what we can go ahead and do is we can set up a PDF link here. And this will basically, um, this is just going to, you know, be the setup of the PDF link. So the sizing, for example, you can change that. Um, you know, where do you want to add this? So on the order confirmation email, for example, the text to download it um, and all that kind of stuff. So this basically means people can just download their order confirmation and stuff like that. Now, if we go ahead to the bottom of our store or the page, we can see it says customized branding. We can go ahead here and we can just basically customize the default branding if we want to. So logos um, and colors, basically. So pretty simple stuff. Next up, if we go over to the account section here, we're going to be able to see that, you know, it's going to give us stuff like our subscription status. It shows you how many orders our stores had. Um, it's free up to 50 orders per month and then it's $10 a month for more than 50 orders. So it's pretty affordable. We've got all the other stuff here, like the store details, the templates, the account history, that kind of stuff. They also have some of their other popular apps that you can go ahead and look at. So now what I would recommend you doing is I would recommend going into your orders and I'd recommend placing a test order. So what you can do is you can click on this button here, which is create order. You can also just go to Shopify store and actually place an order um, manually like that. But we can go here, we can just browse the products um, and we can go ahead, just add any product. Let's say this lamp item here. Let's say they've got one of these, we can add it. And this should go ahead and create a test order here. So what we can do is we can go ahead and either, well, first of all, we want to save it. And we can go ahead and either send an invoice or try and collect a payment for it. Now, if we go ahead and click send invoice, we can go ahead and just put our email in here. We can leave the subject line blank if we want to, or we can go ahead and put one in. We can add a custom message and then we can just press review invoice. Oh, make sure you put the two there. But what you want to do is go ahead and send yourself a test email. And from there, if you have set up the invoice uh, template properly, you should see the um, invoice template instead of the default Shopify one. And to go ahead and actually change the other notifications that aren't included in the app, you can go ahead and go to settings. Then from settings, you're going to want to go down to where it says notifications. And now inside here, you're going to want to go to customer notifications and you can see all of the different ones here. You can go ahead and find the one you want to change. So for example, this one here, you go ahead and click edit code and this should allow you just in the same way as before to edit the code here um, and there's a lot of different editors you can use so you can you literally use this one I told you, told you earlier or you can use a different one but that's basically how you use the order printer pro app for Shopify if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like subscribe and comment down below that helped thank you for watching